Hell of a thing. A Texas cop shoots a man through the door of his home. He lives in an apartment complex, basically, and says somebody was trying to break in. The facility released a statement saying, no, this was his neighbor. His neighbor may have been confused, but was not trying to break in. Let's go to it. Uh, my uh, name is Yasser Bashir, Assistant Chief of the Houston Police Department. Uh, with me, I have Commander Reed, and she is the commander of our, our downtown division. At the moment, we are in the 500 block of Crawford in downtown Houston, involving an officer involved shooting. Um, the officer was not an HPD, but he was a DPS trooper. Um, currently, these are the facts I have gathered so far, is that trooper believed that a suspect was trying to break into his apartment. He discharged his weapon one time and struck the suspect on the right shoulder. Uh, we were able to locate that suspect, provide medical attention, and he was transported to the local hospital where he's expected to survive. So that's the initial, uh, the facts I have gathered. So here's what I'm gonna provide you more details of, of uh, what happened. Approximately after midnight, um, HPD, we received a shooting and a progress call in the 500 block of Crawford, the building right behind us. Uh, when our officer arrived, they, they talked to the trooper and they learned that the, uh, the, someone was trying to break into the apartment. The trooper was off duty at that time and he discharged his weapon one time uh, toward the suspect. The suspect was struck and he left, uh, left the apartment. And when our officer arrived, they were able to locate him uh, short, short, uh, short moments later and he was bleeding. So the officer provided medical attention. They, they applied two turnkeys. And he will be questioned later on about this incident. Uh, the suspect he does live in, on the same in the same building as the trooper. Uh, we don't know why he went to the apartment, uh, but the initial assessment that the trooper believed that he was trying to break in. Um, the suspect is a black male in his 30s. And uh, right now, uh, we also have Texas Rangers at this scene, and they will be conducting a parallel investigation. And our HPD SI unit will be the primary uh, investigative unit for this, for this uh, shooting. Uh, our crime scenes are out here as well, and they'll be processing the scene. So at the moment, that's the, uh, the, the facts I've gathered so far. Uh, first of all, uh, Assistant Chief, those are not facts, sir. They are uh, questions. Not facts, you're representing them as such. Uh, there's more, here it is. Do you have any questions? Did, what floor did this take place on? Uh, it took, took place on the uh, fifth floor. Did the suspect actually make entry into the trooper's apartment or, or force entry? Uh, no, at this moment we're looking into that, to see if there's any force entry or not. So did, did the trooper engage the person directly in front of them or through a door or how, do we have any details on the nature of how that transpired? Uh, the suspect, we believe, is trying to uh, trying to get into the apartment. And the, and the, uh, the trooper did give several commands to him to get away and um, he believed that he was gonna make entry. So that's something we are looking into further. So, so does that mean he shot him through the door? Uh, yes, yes. Is the trooper okay? The trooper is fine. Uh, but like I said, that's something we are looking into more. Um, why you believe? Why you believe that? Yes, the trooper does live on the premises. Is there anyone else in the apartment? In the trooper's apartment? No, there was nobody else. Well, As I mentioned er earlier, you know we're still in the early stages. And we're gonna get more details of what, what took place. Did any stray bullets enter nearby apartments? No, no. We looked at that. We didn't. We didn't see any evidence of that. Any other questions? Thank you. Is there any reason to believe that maybe this person was disoriented, maybe, or something confused or something like that, maybe? That's going to be part of the investigation. We are going to look into that. Um, um, you know, like I said, we are still in the early stages. Horrible. Let me first highlight a few dynamics that must be discussed. They literally provided a narrative in defense of the shooter. Reporters had to probe. You heard the shock in the voice of one reporter when he said, 
He shot him through the door? Yes. He shot him through the door, which means what? There is no established imminent threat. That could have been a 10 year old kid. That could have been an elderly person who simply made a mistake. Could have been a disoriented neighbor. It didn't matter. The officer shot through the door. Now, if you or I would have done something like that, we would have been arrested at least, at least for gross negligence. We would have been arrested for being, well, inappropriate in our action. It reminds me of this case, okay? I want to remind everybody that the incident in a way resembles the Botham case where Officer Geiger, Amber Geiger, shot and killed an innocent black man after entering the wrong apartment thinking it was hers. Geigen thought the black male was an intruder and he was simply eating ice cream on his couch when he was killed. He was not an intruder, not an intentional intruder. I want to remind everyone of a few elements connected to the statutory language of Texas law. In order to commit burglary, you have to qualify a few elements. Number one, it has to be at nighttime, check. Number two, the structure has to be closed, check. Number three, there must be forced entry, no check. And number four, you must be attempting to go in to commit a felony or a crime. No check there either, at least not on record, not part of the narrative. State officials and Houston police are now investigating an incident where an off duty Texas state trooper shot his neighbor after allegedly mistaking him for a home intruder. Houston police said the shooting happened shortly after midnight on Monday after a high rise apartment building at a high rise apartment building in the downtown area. The trooper told police that he was inside his own apartment when he heard someone at his front door trying to break in. Now breaking in is a legal term of art. Were they trying to open the door or break in? Those are two very different things as the law relates. If the person was trying to open the door, this is possibly a good faith mistake. If he was trying to break in, that means he was attempting to commit a serious felony. So the trooper decided to fire his gun through the door. A bullet struck the man in his right shoulder. First responders found him on a different floor, took him to the hospital. Police said he is expected to survive the wound. In a briefing, police called the man who was shot a suspect and described him as a black man in his 30s. But the building's ownership released a statement clarifying that the burglary suspect in question was actually a resident who lives in the building on a different floor. The company believes it was strictly a case of mistaken identity. I would describe why this is possibly true. Uh, police have not identified the shooting victim or the trooper. Details also have not been released on how the victim tried to break in. No details on how he tried, tried to break in to the apartment, but police said there's no evidence that he tried to burglarize nearby apartments. There's also no word on any or if any charges will be filed. We don't know why he was at that apartment, but the initial assessment is that trooper believed he was trying to break in. That's what the assistant police chief said, okay? So if he's trying to break in, right? Did he have a crowbar? Did he have a hammer? Did he have a brick? Did he try to kick the door? Was he just turning the doorknob and that's it? You all are considering that an attempted burglary? You know the rules here, officer. You know the elements required statutorily. They don't fit. There's more. Um, the suspect, quote, the suspect, we believe, was trying to get into the apartment. And the trooper did several, did give several commands. How do you know he gave several commands? Do we have the video? 
Oh, he told you he did. Okay, so you, okay. He gave several commands according to them to get away. And we believe he still tried to make entry. Why do you believe that? Is that what the man who is shot and still alive said to you? Of course not. Why are you taking the narrative of the person who pulled the trigger rather than the narrative of the individual who got shot, who lives in the apartment, who the apartment complex obviously has some relationship with to where they believed he would never do anything like this. So they released a statement contrary to yours. There's more. Local news outlet ABC 13 spoke with one of the resident who requested anonymity and said that the hallways on each floor look so similar that it's easy for residents to mix up which floor is their own at times. I think the apartment ownership knew this as well. That's why they released the statement so quickly. Um, I tried to use my key on the unit. That's one floor above the neighbor's head. In other words, the neighbor is saying I've made the same mistake here. It's pretty easy to do here because every floor, every hallway looks pretty much the same, the resident said. It still doesn't make me feel great that potentially in the case of myself going to the wrong floor, using my key in the wrong apartment, I just don't want that happening to me. The Houston Police Department and the Texas Rangers are still investigating the incident. When the reporter posed the question about, uh, you know, could this be a situation where an individual may have been That's bewildered? Because- Is that possible? Uh, Well, uh, uh, we're looking into that. Looking into it. Why was that not part of your narrative, your commentary? Why are you not waiting until all of the evidence is in before making conclusive statements like, the officer gave commands. He told the man to leave. The man did not leave. And after the man tried to gain entry after that, he decided to shoot. See, that's what the officer told you. We're going to follow this story. Obviously, there will be developments. I want to hear from the man who got shot. 